Technical Characteristics of the MiG-1 MiG-1, MiG-3, Creation History The Main Modifications of MiG-3 Combat Use of MiG-3 Engine AM-35A 1350 horsepower Wingspan 10.2 meters Length of the aircraft 8.15 meters Height of the aircraft 3, 71 meters wing area 178.44 square meters Mass Kilogram Empty aircraft 2,602 Normal takeoff weight 3,099 Maximum takeoff weight 3,555 Maximum speed Kilometers per hour On the ground 521 At an altitude of 7,000 meters 626 Time of climb up to 5,000 meters, 5.3 minutes. Practical ceiling, 12,000 meters. Flight range, 576 kilometers. MiG-1, MiG-3. The aircraft, which by the beginning of the Soviet-German War became the most mass fighter of the new generation in the Red Army Air Forces, was conceived as a fighter interceptor, optimized for medium and high altitudes. Its development under the codename KI-61 began in 1939 under the leadership of N. Polikarpov. In December 1939 the design was given over to the new design bureau established at Moscow Aircraft Plant No. 1, Chief Designer A. I. Mikoyan, Deputy, M. I. Gurevich. The plane which received a new designation of I-200 was a single-seat monoplane of mixed construction, wing consoles and fuselage tail section with keel or of wood, other components of the airframe are metal, with retractable landing gear. The project called for mounting of an AM-37, 1,600 horsepower, engine, but because it was not ready, the plane was equipped with the AM-35A, 1,350 horsepower, a 12-cylinder liquid-cooled engine. The armament consisted of three synchronous machine guns, one 12.7 mm BS, 300 rounds ammunition, and two 7.62 mm SHKAS, a total of 1600 rounds. Suspension of bombs weighing up to 220 kg. The first flight of the I-200 prototype took place on April 5, 1940. In August-September, 1940, the plane passed governmental tests with good flight data, for example, the maximum speed of the I-202 prototype with full armament was 628 km per hour. An altitude of 7,200 meters. Since December, 1940 Plant 1 developed serial production of the fighter, soon other plants were to join it. One of the priority places in the plans of rearmament of the Red Army Air Forces was given to this plane because it was assumed that in the future war the air battles would mainly take place at medium and high altitudes which was the conditions to which I-200 was best suited. Main Modifications of MiG-3 MiG-1 is the first production version. Plant No. 1 produced 100 aircraft in December 1940 to February 1941. MiG-3 was built by Plant No. 1, including evacuation in Kuibyshev, and also by Pilot Plant No. 155 in Moscow. The wing and flaps were changed, the fuel reserve was increased, central plane tank protection was introduced, and a new radiator was applied. From July of 1941 automatic leading edges, new propeller, armored canopy glass, neutral gas system, and modified fins and ailerons were introduced. Armament for the most part corresponded to the MiG-1. Some of the planes were equipped since February 1941 with underwing assemblies for mounting of two additional 12.7 mm BK machine guns. The machines of the 27th series, September 1941, had only two synchronous BS machine guns. 
Some aircraft of the last series had two synchronous BS and one SHKAS, or 220M synchronous SP-20 guns, in particular. All planes of plant number 155 were equipped with these guns. Rocket Armament up to 682M rockets, on the latest series of planes there was a provision for suspension of 6132M rockets. It was serially built till January 1942, 3102 aircraft were produced, in April to July 1942 75 aircraft were assembled at plant number 155 out of the groundwork. A number of improved versions of the MiG-3, although they were tested, were not put into production. MiG-3 with air-cooled engine M82A, referred to as MiG-9, MiG-3U, I-230, with synchronous cannons SVAK, I-231, similar to I-230, but with high-altitude engine AM-39. Combat use of the MiG-3. In the spring of 1941 the MiG-1 and MiG-3 were used to intercept German reconnaissance aircraft in the border areas. In particular, in April they intercepted and landed a Junkers Ju-86P high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft. As the Great Patriotic War broke out, the regiments that had time to master the MiG-3 took an active part in border battles, suffering considerable losses. For example, the Western Front's Air Force had 238 MiGs by the 22nd of June, but by the 8th of July there were only 23 MiG-3s left. The introduction of new regiments armed with MiG-3s, in particular the 401st and 402nd Fighter Regiments equipped with experienced test pilots, could not radically change the situation. The use of the MiG-3 was relatively more successful in the air defense system of Moscow, Leningrad and Sevastopol. Sometimes regiments armed with MiG-3s were used for ground attack missions during the first weeks of the war at the Leningrad front and then at the central part of the Soviet German front. The MiG-3 was not a bad high-altitude fighter interceptor, but as a frontline fighter designed to operate mainly at low and medium altitudes, it was superior to the Yakovlev planes. This was what led to the rapid withdrawal of the MiG-3 from production.